Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Sean Two Cents in the Lovely Hot Tub. I'm here for my United Champions review. First up, on the kickoff show we had the Peep Show with Jericho. Christian and Jericho reminiscing about old times when they tied together. Then Orton interrupting and Jericho and Orton go back to back banter. Jer uh, Orton calling them Terrence and Phillip, which is a, a weird joke. Because they're Canadian, you get it. Orton should not be, be telling jokes. It's not funny. So, we go to our first match. Star and Gold Dust versus the Usos for Tag Titles. Started off slow, then they got, got real good at the end. Good back and forth. Star and Gold Dust get the win. I like they got the titles. Usos kind of had a boring reign so lately and finally get the belts off. They had them a little too long, I thought. And I like to see, I like to see Golden Stars with the titles. They're going to have a nice good reign with them. Then we had uh, Shima Cesaro in my match tonight. This match is a straight up fight. Back and forth. Good counters. Cesaro looked like a million bucks. Countering everything Cesaro, I mean, uh, Sheamus had. Those last two counters toward that end of the match was awesome. I hate that Sheamus one but broke him out of nowhere. I hate that finish. Really? That you can't push Cesaro? Look at him. He's just a million bucks. He wrestles awesomely. Sheamus wins and retains. I just thought that was so stupid. I was so for Cesaro winning. Bad decision on Duddy's part. Then we had Miz versus Ziggler for the IC title. This was an alright match. Nothing really to say here. Miz got the win to win back the IC title. I don't see the point of Miz getting the IC title back. I don't know, unless he's going to act in the really. I hope they continue their field. The stuff double stuff's been funny. Damian Miz dow has been hilarious. R. Ziggler. The pros has been funny. The matches have been alright. Ziggler tries to save him, but Ziggler can only do so much. Then we had Seth Rollins coming out and and uh say Roman Reigns is gonna be here, so he wants to be my forfeit. Then he challenges anybody to come out. Ambrose comes out in a taxi cab, which I thought was very funny. Ambrose and Rollins brawl. I love Ambrose running up the lights, lighting fixtures they have on the stage, and then out, out wing uh, jumping on Rollins and then taking up security. Then they finally hog tie Ambrose and take him out. Good, good uh, brawl between Ambrose and Rollins. Love Ambrose. He's just so crazy. Great to see him back. Then Rusev and Henry. Oh, what? That was just, that's how much I, I, this match was so sleepy for me. Just, Henry crying at the National Rumble was the best part of the match. That was even the match. Henry is the best actor I think at WWE. The way he turned on CNN at one time and then his, his crying. Just so funny. That's Russo continuing his role against Henry. It's not much Henry's fault. Henry is just older. Not much of a wrestler anymore. Russo just, it just wasn't there. The match didn't click. The feud never clicked for anybody. And for the end on Raw was stupid. This match was the low point of the night. They had Orton and Jericho in an all right match. It was back and forth. It was good, but not something you're going to remember for like six months down the road. It was just two veterans put in a spot just to have a good, mat, a, a, a good match. It's sad Jericho's uh, it, uh, run is going to end, end with like a limper, not a bang. This Jericho beating him, almost punting him, bringing the punt back. Then Jericho, got, got, uh, the finish was stupid. Jericho got on top rope just to get RKO by jumping off. What does Jericho do on top rope when Edward's standing up? That seemed very stupid. Randy Orton gets the win and goes, where? I don't know. That's one thing. Then we had AJ Lee versus Paige versus... Why the hell is Nikki Bella in this match? Basically, that's the whole match was, why is Nikki Bella here? She didn't add anything to the match. She has made it look like a clusterfuck. It was eight minutes. It was better than your average Divas match. They got a lot more spots in. The, the Tower of Doom by Nikki was pretty cool. So, and then Paige just pull, do pull in a super kick party. See him watching your Young Bucks tapes. That's kicking everybody in the face. Paige get, uh, AJ Lee wins, gets what Diva style. They're switching the Diva style back and forth, just like it's a toy. Ball goes here, ball goes there, ball goes here, ball goes there. And it's going to make the Diva style look worthless. It already looks like a big tramp stamp. Then we had the big rematch, the rematch everybody was looking forward to. Brock, I don't need my phone anymore because it's the last match. So we had Lesnar versus Cena, the big rematch, people. Cena got more offense in. Seemed like he studied his Lesnar taste. Got the fist in, back and forth. Good back for a match. Cena got the STF in. Looks like Cena's going to win. And all the little kids are going to be happy. Then Rollins comes in out of nowhere. Hits with a briefcase. Takes out Cena. And hits the curve slot with Lesnar. I wonder how much he paid him for that. And then it looks like Rollins is going to cash in. And all of a sudden Cena throws him out. And it's a DQ. Now this leads to Hell in a Cell. With Cena and uh, Lesnar, so that's good for them. But the finish is very odd. It seems like they just threw together last minute. It was the finish was meant for C Lesnar not to tap out, Lesnar not to lose, and Cena not to win. So 
it was an interesting finish. I don't know what they're going to do with Rollins now. Maybe a triple threat? I don't see that. I think Rollins is continuing his feet of Ambrose. But this is an average review. Very C-. minus. Nothing to check out. Just read the results. You didn't miss much. If you want to go back and watch it for 999, go ahead. But it's not much to see. Sam and Cicero is my match tonight. That's what it is. Uh, overall, C-5.0 minus review. As always, follow me on Twitter, at TheSharns2Cents. Buy a t-shirt. It helps the show continue. ProSatees.com slash TheSharns2Cents. Subscribe. One away for 400 subscribers. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace.